this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. Appreciate the ones getting on board over here. Appreciate the ones that have been sticking with me through the good and the bad and the ups and the downs. Nothing moves in a straight line. Appreciate the ones that understand what we got going on when it comes to the 2A community. And like I said, we got a long fight ahead, people. And like I said before, y'all the storm just a message just to every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution and defend the Second Amendment. With that said, uh, we're we're on ground ground level here, people. No fame, no glory over here whatsoever. So don't don't get that twisted. So right now, uh, we have a huge problem when it comes to the NRA. And, you know, when it comes to the NRA people, I'm talking about they have some, a lot of problems ahead. We already heard a lot of stuff about the NRA. But I want to talk about this shutdown process. The stars are lining up, people. The stars are lining up when it comes to the NRA. Now, the NRA headquarters in New York. Now, a lot of this NRA stuff jumped out when you had the New York AG come out and say that she filed a lawsuit because of corruption and greed and stuff inside the NRA. A lot of us been talking about this for a long time. We know about this stuff. But a lot of stuff starting to come out. Now, right now, when it comes to the NRA, now, we have an election season, people. So I want to bring some things to your attention. We have an election season. Now, in 2016, the NRA spent like 50-some million dollars in the election to, you know, for Donald Trump and stuff like that during the campaign. They spent like $54 million on advertisement, some of everything. Now, right now, this year, we have an election. The NRA has spent less than a million dollars. As far as some of the reports, a lot of reports I looked at, has spent less than a million dollars. So since the AG came out with his lawsuit, people, I'm talking about the, the NRA spending has plummeted. It has plummeted. Now, I'm talking about, you know, there's a lot of corruption that has been coming out that the NRA spent money on, you know, lavish trips, uh, uh, personal vacations, and, and all this stuff that they've been doing, you know, paying hush money. I'm talking about there's so much out there. Now, Right now, some of the headlines, you have the judge pretty much threw out the NRA lawsuit that the lawsuit they filed um, when Cuomo had pretty much shut down the gun shops during the coronavirus pandemic. Now, with that said, some of the gun shops are open up because the cases, the coronavirus cases in New York has pretty much gone down. So some of them start to open back up. So the NRA filed a lawsuit for that and everything. Now, the judge threw out that lawsuit. Now, this is eight days after the AG came out with the lawsuit about shutting down the NRA. Eight days later. So, like I said before, the stars are lining up, people. I'm talking about, you know, the judge just quickly threw that out eight days later after the lawsuit and everything. I'm talking about, you know, go figure. I'm talking about, you could probably put that together and everything. Now you having people in Hollywood that was inside of the, the NRA. They're coming out on the NRA. They're talking about they witnessed corruption and all this kind of stuff inside the NRA. The NRA has a big problem, people, a huge problem. And, you know, right now, like I said before, um, you know, the NRA, they have filed a lawsuit, you know, against um, the, the, the attorney general and, you know, all them or whatever about, you know, them trying to single them out, shut them down and everything. But like I said, you still have people donate to the NRA. And, you know, the NRA had caused its own problems for a long time. But, you know, I've been talking about this last year. A lot of you probably remember this. I talked about how I have videos where I talked about how you had uh, pretty much um, Bloomberg pretty much come out and said that he's going to shut down, pretty much shut down the NRA, that he was going to do everything. He was spending, he went out spend the NRA. I'm talking about, I have talked about this many a times. And look what's happening, people. Look what's happening. NRA, I'm talking about, Bloomberg is right now, I'm telling you, him, his other buddies and stuff, they're right now cheesing. They, they've been setting this process up for a long time. And, you know, Bloomberg has been doing a lot of stuff in these states, paying all politicians and stuff uh, to, my, to do stuff, pass all the gun laws and everything. Now, you can't tell me that Bloomberg probably haven't got somebody inside the NRA to expose all this corruption and stuff. If it ain't Bloomberg, it could be somebody else. There's so much stuff coming out of the NRA, what they have done. So now... Are we going to see the process where people in the NRA start to turn against each other to save each other butts and stuff? People, I'm talking about you got to start looking at this kind of stuff. And once it get down to the point where now people are facing jail time, a lot of, you know, criminal things that has been happening, will we see the NRA dismantle itself by people turning against each other? The shutdown process, people, that we must look at and start watching. So just want to talk about that a little bit. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.